Premier Comrade Mielakov. Comrade Agents, thank you for coming. Here's what we know so far. Ten years ago, the United States government covered up an invasion by an alien race known as Furons. And their primary agent was this Furon, Cryptosporidium 137. Dangerous, unpredictable, and now, deceased. So, what has been problem? The problem, Conrad, is that neurons can clone themselves and pose convincingly as human. And they've used these abilities to put Cryptosporidium 138 into the White House. And the American people are not noticing? <laughs> ah, right. Pull the other one. Even worse, this new crypto clone contains pure furon DNA, harvested from human brains by Orthopox 30, mastermind of the invasion. He also bears a mysterious new mutation, referred to only as the package. Ooh. These aliens pose a dire threat to the Soviet Union, comrades. And so, must be destroyed. As we speak, President Crypto is in Bay City, attending a new cultural festival. And Orthopox? Conducting experiments in the Furon Mothership. There's only one way to deal with such men. Revolution! Uh-oh. That can't be good. <laughs> Greetings, comrade. Mother Russia sends her regards. You expect me to beg, human? No, little Furon. I expect you to die. Mine's free. Virtual pox, huh? Kinda constricting, ain't it? 
Well, beggars can't be choosers. I need to bring in some big guns. Uh, know where I can get my hands on some. I did manage to jettison some data cores before the mothership was hit. You might be able to recover some weapons from them, if you can find any. But it certainly won't be easy. Okay, so, where are the data cores? That's just it! They could have entered the atmosphere at any time, in any place, and therefore landed anywhere on the planet. I've managed to locate only one. It was ejected after my holopox unit, so it landed quite nearby. Well, I guess there's nothing left to do but scout the area and find that data core. Understand it. We blew that alien spacecraft out of the sky, and yet the shriveled geriatric one somehow survived. The Shopas must be harder to kill than we thought. I spit on them! <laughs> Nonetheless, inform the Kremlin we shall proceed with the operation as planned. Tell them we need as much revelade as they can ship, as quickly as they can ship it. Da, Agent Orincho. And our American distributor? He suspects nothing. In fact, he seemed quite enthusiastic about the whole idea. He thinks he'll be spreading revolution in a paper cup. 
And so he will. But not, I think, the sort he expects. Idealists. They spit on them! Pleh! Stalin, he understood. Ideas may start revolutions, but guns and gulags finish them. Well, no matter. Soon the citizens of Bay City will be embarking on a very bad trip. <laughs> Jeez, Box, my head's still spinning. What the hell's going on around here? Why are those Ruskies gunning for us? Frankly, I'm more concerned with how the KGB managed such a successful twin strike. They're not usually so organized. We need to find them, Crypto, before they spring any more surprises. Okay, so what? I just start knocking on doors and doing the slicing dice? You do not. The KGB are hardly likely to hang around if you just start indiscriminately blowing away humans. Yeah, well, I was just brainstorming. Well, stop. I've done a little research in the criminal files of the local constabulary. Apparently, there's one informant in Bay City who always knows what's going down on the streets. They call him the Freak. The Freak, huh? Yeah, I I've heard about him. Cat's got connections all over town. He's kind of a burnout, though. From what I hear, he doesn't even need drugs anymore. He lives in his own personal mental lava lamp. But if any of those stinky monkeys knows what the KGB are up to, I bet he does. Then I suggest you locate him and find out what he knows. All right, enough chit-chat. I'm off to find our little hippie friend, the freak. <laughs> 